Thank you. I uh, welcome members to the 31st meeting in 2015 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. As always, ask members to turn off mobile phones, please. Agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed that the committee takes item eight in private. This will enable the committee to consider its approach to the scrutiny of the Bankruptcy Scotland Bill. Does the committee agree to take this item in private, please? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item two is instruments subject to negative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the European Maritime and Fisheries Fund Grants Scotland Regulations 2015 SSI 2015 359, nor on the Natural Mineral Water Spring Water and Bottled Drinking Water Scotland Amendment Regulations 2015 SSI 2015 363, the Private Rented Housing Panel Tenant and Third Party Application Scotland Regulations 2015 SSI 2015 369. Uh, and the Diligence Against Earnings Variation Scotland Regulations 2015, SSI 2015 370. Is the committee content with these, please? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item three is instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. The Act of Sedurant Sheriff Appeal Court Rules 2015, SSI 2015 356. This instrument contains defective drafting. Rule 56 includes provision as to where a document or other matter is intimated in terms of the rules to the solicitor for the receiving party. So paragraphs 2 and 3 of the rule are in conflicting terms where intimation is given at 1,700 hours precisely on any day. So paragraph 2 provides the date of intimation is that day. So paragraph 3 provides the date of intimation is the next day. The Lord's President's private office has undertaken to lay a further instrument which would correct this error in time for the Act of Sterrant coming into force on the 1st of January 2016. Does the committee agree to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground I as Rule 5.6 appears to be defectively drafted? Yes. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Community Empowerment Scotland Act 2015 Commencement Number 2 Order, comment, order uh, 2015 SSI 2015-358, nor on the Water Act 2014 Commencement Number 1 Scotland Order 2015 SSI 2015-360 nor on the Mental Health Scotland Act 2015 Commencement Number 1 Transition Null and Saving Provisions Order 2015 SSI 2015 361, nor the Scottish Independence Referendum Chief Counting Officer and Counting Officer Charges and Expenses Order 2015 SSI 2015 368, nor the Act of a Journal Criminal Procedure Rules 1996 Amendment Number 5 Request for Final Decision and Reasons 2015 SSI 2015 375. Is the committee content with these instruments, yes. please? Agenda item four is the Abusive Behaviour and Sexual Harm Scotland Bill. The purpose of this item is for the committee to consider the delegated powers in the bill. Uh, members have seen a paper on this and the recommendations. This will form the basis of a report to the lead committee. A draft report would not be discussed by the committee before it's published. Does the committee have any comments or is the committee content with the delegated powers in sections 8, 14, 4A, 40 and 43 of the bill? Thank you. Agenda item five is the Criminal Verdict Scotland Bill, and members are again invited to consider the delegated powers provisions in this bill. Uh, members have again seen a paper, and if they're content with the recommendations in the paper, this will form the basis of a report to the League Committee, uh, and that report will not be discussed by the committee before it's published. Is the committee content with delegated powers in sections four and five of the bill, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Agenda item six is the Higher Education Governance Scotland Bill, and this item of business is for the committee to consider the Scottish Government's response to its Stage 1 report. Do members have any comments, please? Is the committee content to note the response and, if necessary, reconsider the bill after Stage 2? Yes, yep. Agenda item seven is the Succession Scotland Bill. This is item is for the committee to consider the Scotland, Scottish Government's response uh, to its report on the delegated powers in this bill. Does the committee have any comments, please? The Scottish Government, obviously, these, these are matters we'll be able to raise with the Minister when we take evidence from him before the end of the year. Indeed. Oh, certainly. With that, is the committee content to note the response and, if necessary, reconsider, of course, after stage two? Thank you. Uh, and I move this meeting into private. Thank you.